<laughs> they finally did it. Uh, I can't. I can't say I'm surprised, but <laughs> God damn! Welcome to the game, Prince Noctis. Bad news, bad. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, your boy Jay is here and today I'm just having a quick video uh, talking about the new stuff that has shown up for Dissidia Final Fantasy. Now a few weeks ago, uh, let, let's rewind the clock a little bit, a few weeks ago, uh, the Ultimacia trailer finally came out and if any of you guys know anything about the previous games, we are, there, no one should be surprised that this character has shown up. Uh, she was in the last two games, so I would expect her to be in the PlayStation 4 version. Now, let's jump ahead to this week, Tokyo Game Show, aka the PlayStation Press Conference that takes place in Japan every year. Last night, they thought they could sneak in some dope stuff, okay? There was quite a few games that were shown, but we're only going to be talking about Final Fantasy today. So... They showed off some new gameplay, some cleaned up HUD, oh my goodness, that UI, that interface was just mad disgusting. I'm gonna have some gameplay on the screen to show you guys. This is what it previously looked like. It's it's just gross. I, it, there's just so much clunky stuff up here. It seems like the screen doesn't really start. Like you can't really see what's going on until thir about 35, 30% of the way from, from the bottom of the screen. So, you know, then you have your health bars, you have and other people's health bars then you have your your uh, guard uh, your break meter your your items you have all this stuff that's just so clunky and in the way and then yet now with this new cleaned up HUD you can actually clearly see everything that is on the screen so nicely they didn't need all those big silver blocks you know who knew all it took was to just move that stuff out of the way give you a smaller looking health bar you know with the with bigger numbers so that way now you can see them okay because before it was pretty insignificant trying to find okay exactly how much health do I have do I have 3,000 health or do I have 2,000 health left you know and just moving all the big ass gray blocks out of the way that just helped so much now I mean they could still fix the map area a little bit and the break bonus but you know I I'm not gonna complain. Maybe maybe make it a little bit more transparent and maybe make the, the summons a little bit more transparent. You know, like turn it down to like 80 opacity, you know, just just, just turn it down just a little bit, you know. It's too it's too noticeable still. But I mean the game is still probably going to be a clusterfuck all over the screen, just random shit popping up all over the place. But that's that's something that this game deals with. Like it's not really an issue because that's you know, 3v3 arena fighter, it's gonna get a little hectic. So hopefully they implement that 1v1 mode. I would love to see that. But anyway, we're going to talk more about Noctis. Now, judging from these, just this gameplay, oh my goodness, he seems like he's such a rush down heavy character and he uses multiple weapons just like he does in the game uh in final fantasy 15 i'm actually gonna have some trailer footage up for you guys so you can see kind of how he plays this is really only one combo so when they decide to come out with a full character showcase that i'll be definitely 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 impressed at that point because i would love to see him use multiple uh you know abilities that he used in the game i want to see him sometimes uh at some point use his ring that would be really cool or or i mean something besides just the engine blame the dragoon lance and i think i saw the ninja star if i'm correct i'm not sure but i know he should use a light heavy and medium weapon so uh he'll probably have some like you know down type moves that don't use the dragon lance um maybe he'll have like a hammer or something i don't know and you know what it'd be really interesting to see you know what his uh, uh, some of his ultimate abilities are going to be i'm really interested to see about the items that they give him some extras you know and really now that i'm looking at this it's kind of too good to be true like i'm really thinking he might be a pre-order bonus like i i'm not a fan of pre-order bonuses at all in any way shape or form but they'll probably put him you know a content lock on him so they're not gonna let you just get this game and, you know get this game and just have knocked us out the box so um with that also said with every protagonist there comes an antagonist now this kind of dives into you know like 
like some theory and some wish list stuff which you guys haven't if you guys have not seen my wish list video i'll leave a link in the description so that way you can go and check out that video and you can check out some of the 10 characters that i wanted to see in final fantasy uh Dissidia. so you guys can go and check that out it's a really great video i did with avatar yaya show him some love because uh you know he's also a really huge fan of final fantasy um so anyway we're gonna talk about like with every protagonist there is also an antagonist and i'm just wondering there are so many there there's quite a few in final fantasy 15 they may not be huge over the top you know like you could consider aranea uh, an antagonist i'm really looking forward to if she's going to be in the game and i believe the game director said he was really a fan of her um i i can't cite that source because i don't remember where it was if i find it i'll make sure to put it on screen for you guys but i remember seeing that uh somewhere on nova chrysalis uh website which it, you know they break all the news for everything final fantasy everything square enix you know so i remember seeing it vaguely on there so if i can find it i'll make sure to put that article on the screen but rna is just such an amazing character she's honestly a better dragoon type character which is a rushdown lancer character than kane highwind and geez kane is just like he's great and everything i mean he was good in the first game but he's not rush down heavy you know because his moves take a lot more time to use anyway that's all technical aspects in the game i mean she's she'd be really cool i mean there needs to be more female leads i mean there's no teeth no sign of tifa whatsoever even though she was in the last game and she deserves to be in this one i don't understand that concept at all in any way shape or form but you know i mean it is what it is hopefully we can get rna that would be really cool i would love to see rna in this game but if not if not i mean we could get Arden, I mean, I wouldn't mind Arden. I know he's not a fan favorite. A lot of people don't really care for him too much. I mean, I personally just like whatever about the guy. So, you know, I mean, maybe there's other people who actually like Arden. If there are any Arden fans out there, please, please, please let me know down in the comments section, okay? I, I wanna know what, what it is that you like about this guy because there's literally nothing I, I like about this character. I mean, his style is kind of, you know, nonchalant. Like, oh, I don't really take anything too seriously until the end of the game and he's about to get his ass whooped. So, you know, another character I wouldn't mind throwing in there because this is not a wish, wish list video at all. I, I, I could go for Luna Freya as a support. She could be like a summon or something. I don't know, considering she controls Leviathan. I don't know, she could be some type of summoning support. That would be great. And she just like, you know, brings the uh, brings the summoning core into the stage. Or, you know, just to wrap it up, I would also like to have Ravis. Ravis, I don't consider much of an antagonist until he turns into that dick devil demon form towards the end of the game. But, spoilers by the way, but you know, he seems like a very, a, a, a very like straightforward character. You know, I, I feel like he would be a great addition to this game. Basically, anybody could be on the table at this point because watching Noctis fight in this game, it kind of says like, wow, you know, like his moveset would be really good like in this game. Like a lot of rushdown heavy characters are, are in this game, so I'm looking forward to a few more supports or somebody who has more uh, mid range to short range. Like, I feel like Ravis would be good right about there. He's not too rushed down, but he can also use like you know additional magic and things like that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. That's basically it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. This has been your boy Just Jay Sama, and until next time, I will catch you guys later. Make sure to keep it canon. みんな新たな仲間か歓迎する。